Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful, glam, glossy, you know, glowy makeup look. So if you're really interested in watching this content and if you want to know how I created this look, then do continue watching this video. And before getting into the video, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel immediately. And also don't forget to press the bell icon to receive all my updates on your notification box. And if you're not following me in my Instagram page, then this is my Insta handle. Do check out my Instagram page and follow me there as well. So yes, without further ranting, let's quickly jump into the video. First, I'm going to start off with a primer. For this, I'll be using this Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Primer. So this one is a mattifying primer. If you have really oily skin, I would highly recommend you to try this one. This is quite on the affordable side. So this one retails for 499 rupees, but most of the time you can get it in a really good deal. So wait for the deal and pick it. I do not recommend you to pick it for the full price. So now face priming is done. Next, I'm quickly going to nourish my lips for which I'll be using this Blue Heaven uh, Hydrating Lip Balm with the jojoba oil and shea butter. Next, I'm going to use the foundation for which I'll be using this Nykaa All Day Matte Foundation. I'm going to apply the shade Coffee, shade number 14 on my skin. I have nothing. I haven't color corrected my skin. I'm just applying the shade um, directly. So yes, we are done with the foundation. Next, I'm going to use a concealer for which I'll be using the K-Beauty Concealer in shade 190P Tan. Now talking about this concealer, it just blends like magic, it worked amazingly well. I never expected this concealer to be so good. So this concealer definitely helped in hiding the dark circles, hyperpigmentation, everything. Next I'm going to do a little bit of highlight for which again I'm going to use the K-Beauty concealer in shade 175 white tan. Now this concealer right when I bought the first shade that I picked this 175 white tan and then I realized that this is like way more lighter for my skin tone and tried it for one single time. I absolutely love the finish of this uh, concealer so I went ahead and picked another shade which is 180 P tan yeah this is like a concealing concealer and 175 white tan as a highlighting concealer what I'm going to use right now it's very very minimal amount of highlighting so yeah Look at this. It just blends like dream. I really love the finish of this concealer. Next, I'm going to set my face using a loose powder for which again I'm going to take this K Beauty loose powder in shade Pecan. So 
so yes i'm done with setting my face with this loose powder next i'm going to use a blush so today i'll be using this k beauty cream blush in shade rustic rush so yeah this is the first time i'm using this blush so let me check how the shade looks like so this is how the shade rustic rush looks like and when i blend it looks like this such a gorgeous stunning shade I absolutely love this shade let me check how it looks on my skin wow look at it guys it gives that very nice natural finish I'm just taking it to this area so that it will give this very nice natural glow and finish absolutely love this blush A little bit on my nose I really really love the finish of this blush I just started here and then I took it to this area so that it will give this natural finish like all the area looks in the same color and it's very natural very subtle and cool so yeah this is how um, the K Beauty Cream Blush in shade Rustic Rush looks like. It's such a stunning shade, deeper complexion. If you want to try out one single shade from K Beauty Cream Blush range, then I would highly recommend you to pick the shade Rustic Rush. So yeah, I am definitely going to try a few more shades from this range because this one is so damn good. This is a cream blush, but like after blending it's not giving this dewy glossy finish and all it's a sort of lot mattified finish after blending which is something so good for this season like during the summer season if you have a cream blush which is so good like which settles down to a matte finish then that is a big good sign you can definitely try it so now we are done with the blush part next i'm quickly going to apply a tad bit amount of bronzer to get that dimension so yeah for that i'll be using this rimmel natural bronzer in shade sundown and the shade number 004 so this is a really really nice bronzer i have already talked about this bronzer in my um, past video so i'm quickly going to take this bronzer and apply it I think you guys can see how this bronzer looks like So now we are done with the bronzer. Next we are going to start off with the eye makeup. For which I will be using this Swiss Beauty Eyebrow Gel Eyebrow Powder. So yeah, now we are done with the eyebrows. So next I'm going to do my eye makeup for which I'll be using this Mars eyeshadow palette. So now this one is like one of the most rated product. Now in this eyeshadow palette, I'm quickly going to take this shade and then apply it on my crease area. 
Now this eyeshadow palette is more than what I imagined about it. It's so damn pigmented. So if you're looking for a really nice pigmented eyeshadow palette on the affordable range, I would highly recommend you to try the mass eyeshadow palettes. They are so, so good. So yes, now you can see like how pigmented it is. Just one swipe application gives that nice, beautiful pigmentation. So I've used the shade as a transition shade on my crease area and then I have extended it on my lower eyelids as well. Next up I'm going to take this black eyeshadow. Now this is one of the most crucial step because when you use black eyeshadows you have to be really really careful or there are a lot of chances for your eye makeup to get ruined so what i'm doing right now is i'm just packing this black eyeshadow pigment on the eyelids like within the crease area so i have to be really very careful the pigmentation have to be intense near my lash line and then while i go above i have to reduce the amount of pigmentation so that the blending will be way more easier once we are done with packing the black shade, now I'm going to blend it with the shade that I have used for my transition area to avoid any harsh edges. Now this step is going to be way more crucial because it takes a lot of time to blend in the black shade with the transition shade. So you have to take your own time and blend it really careful. It is going to be tedious but still slowly you can achieve and over the time you know how to do it very well. So yeah, practice makes everything perfect. Now I'm going to take this beautiful golden shade and I'm going to apply it on the mid of my eyelids. Now when it comes to applying shimmer shades, I always always prefer using my fingertips because that will really help in packing the pigment, uh, packing the shimmer so well and blending it easily. So if you are someone new to eye makeup, if you want to pull up that very gorgeous glam makeup, I would highly recommend to use your fingertips to, you know, place and blend shimmer shades so that way it is going to be really very easy next i'm going to take the black shade again and then i'm going to you know pack it on the inner and outer corners to get more definition so once the black shade is packed you also need to slightly blend it to get that gradient effect so always always remember that blending is a key tool to get very nice smooth beautiful eye look and now I am taking a clean eyeshadow blending brush and working on the harsh edges to get that beautiful gradient effect. Also, I am following that with a very minimal winged eyeliner to complement the eye look. Now this eyeliner, the, I mean the winged eyeliner can be minimal or can be dramatic. It's based on your preference. If you like a wearing very dramatic winged eyeliner, you can go ahead and do it. But I'm a person who love carrying off minimal winged eyeliner looks. So I, I find it very, uh, you know, simple but still elegant. So now I'm done with the eyeliner part for which I have used the Color Bar Liquid Eyeliner. Next, I'm going to tight line my upper and lower waterline using the Wet n Wild Kajal. Now, this one is my recent find and I'm absolutely in love with this Kajal. It's like very, very jet black. So, if you're trying to buy a jet black eyeliner or Kajal, you can definitely give this a shot. Most of the time, it will be in good offer when you buy it from Mintra or from Hawk Makeup. Next, I'm going to use a mascara for which I'll be using this Colorbar Lash Illusion Mascara Duo. In this, I'm going to use a voluminizing side. So when it comes to mascara, I always prefer applying it using wiggling motion. In that way, your eyelashes become very, you know, it looks very voluminous and then elongated. Even if you use a voluminous or lengthening mascara or not, if you prefer using this kind of step, you can achieve the desired look that you wanted to have. So now we are done with the mascara. Next, I'm quickly going to highlight my face for which I'll be using this Rimmel highlighter. So this is in the shade 003 Afterglow. Now talking about this particular highlighter, it is so, so creamy and buttery. Um, let me swatch it for you guys. So can you see that? It's like very buttery in texture. It's very nice and finely melted. It's so smooth. So it gives this very, uh, you know, natural, nice finish to your skin. And again, this one is one of my recent buy and I 
myself find using this product very frequently because of the finish of this highlighter it gives you this nice natural glow from within kind of finish so even if you're not a highlighter person you will definitely definitely love this one i would highly recommend everyone to give this highlighter a shot this one is very less raved i don't know why this product is so less raved it's more like a high-end highlighter so if you're planning to buy any high-end highlighters i would I highly highly recommend you to give this a shot before trying that one because it's so damn good and stunning now i am highlighting my inner corners and then my brow bone area like now my eyes are very bold so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a muted nude shade for my lips. First I'm going to line my lips using the MAC lip liner in shade Chestnut. Once the lip liner is done, for my lips I'm going to use MAC lipstick in shade Top. So this is a matte variant lipstick. Now I wanted to add a little bit of gloss to my lips so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Blue Heaven Lush and Juicy Lip Plumping Lip Gloss in shade Mauve Tint. So that's it we're done with this makeup look i absolutely love this look it's so so stunning and gorgeous now i want to wear a really huge big earring to complement this outfit so much in love with this makeup i absolutely love how it looks and how it turned out i just wanted to create exactly this kind of makeup look and finally it ended out so well i don't know why but recently i've been in love with this glossy lip trend if you're also the same vibe hope this you know lip combo to help you guys yes that's it we are done with this video and hope you really enjoyed watching this content if you like it please give a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel. And so yes, next time with another beautiful content, I'll meet you guys and let's bye from Priya. Bye-bye.